news, my lovely, wonderful people. FFK says, how can 30 Nigerians be bombed in their country while worshipping God and nobody beats eyelid? This is what happens in Nigeria. The public has continued to denounce the bombardment of Nigerians in Kaduna by a bomb that was purposely dropped by the Nigerian army. And one person who, was, who has responded to it is Femi Fani Kayode asking how this has happened. Of course, they have no real answer for you. They will just tell you that, you know, it has happened, it has happened. In fact, Nigerian army is saying that um, they don't really have an explanation. Well, it happened and that is it. And that everybody just needs to, you know, understand that what has happened, uh, there is nothing they would have done. And that uh, Nigerians just need to, you know, deal with it. That's the country where you are. Yeah, that's the country where you are. And so Femi Fani Kayode, for the first time, is speaking on this matter. The public has continued to ask the same question regarding what has happened in Kaduna by the bombardment of Nigerians in their homes, in their worship places, and by the Nigerian Air Force. And yet, there is really no clear-cut information on how this happened in fact nigerian army is saying you know uh, it was a mistake and that is it the victims were reportedly celebrating in their hamet in downto bari community within the local government area on kaduna state according to a story on daily trust verified 30 villagers were said to have died as a result of the tragedy on Sunday, resulting in the development of FSK questioning how 30 innocent Nigerians could be killed in this manner. Yet nobody has said anything about it, and there is no outrage anywhere about it, and everybody is quiet. In a statement he made on his uh, Twitter, he said, is Kanu Gaza? How can 30 innocent Nigerians be bombarded and sh shared in their own country by, the, by their air force while worshipping God? And no one had beat an eyelid. No outrage, no anger, no tears, no empathy. Like much of the rest of the world, we appear to have lost our humanity. In Nigeria, these things happen and nobody says anything. Other places in the world, we know how they take these things very seriously and how they would have responded. But in Nigeria, it feels like it's okay. People can be killed. Anything can happen. And nobody really says anything. You know, um, all we have heard Arewa said is that uh, Tinubu should speak to the army. Uh, no problem. Tinubu will speak to the army. But how does that solve the problem? And how does that really, you know, change the issue of what is on ground today? Every one of us should know that we cannot continue like this. Every one of us should know that we can't continue like this. We can't. We can't continue like this. If you look at the whole issue, what is currently happening, you know that there is urgent need, you know, for the army, a real overhauling of the full whole army. The army, the army, Nigerian army needs to be looked upon. They need to be looked upon. Somebody somewhere is not telling us the truth. Somebody somewhere is lying to us. You know, somebody somewhere is lying and is not really coming out with the truth. People were in their homes or wherever they are, and all of a sudden this has happened. And yet everybody expects us to just be quiet, move on piously, as if nothing has happened. You know, carry on with business as usual and just continue. You know, so it is it is on, honestly a serious case where people need to begin to reevaluate the whole situation look at it more closely and ensure that we are you know we are we are we are hitting the right buttons in in speaking out the truth because as it stands at the moment there are a lot of issues that should not be there sadly these are the things that we are experiencing in our very own nation and our very own country and everybody is wondering you know what we could have done differently you know the days upon us are so critical it's so critical that Every time, you know, there is need for people to rise up and speak, they will not do that. Rather, it's all that, if, 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 it's, if it's what happened in Gaza, you see Nigerians, hey, in the north especially, they will, you know, you get an Islamic clergy come all the way from India to say, ah, what, has, what is happening between Israel and this is wrong, is that, yes, it's wrong, but this is not happening, this is not happening in Nigeria, and nobody's really speaking, you know, does the life of these people not matter? Does it not matter? Does it not? 
Don't they have life? Couldn't, you know, can somebody not speak for them? There is no outrage anywhere. There is no outrage anywhere. Nobody is speaking to ensure that, you know, the truth is manifested. What exactly is going on here? How did we get here? You know, no humanity, no honesty, no truth. People are dying and yet everybody expects everyone to be quiet. These are the things that are going on. And in case you are wondering how we got here, you where people have lost their sense of humanity. This is what it is. This is what it is. And so, you know, we must look at things more critically and ensure that at the end of the day, you know, we do not leave people just anyhow and feel that it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. These are the life of people. Sadly, they said they were feasting, they were having a good time. And before you could say Jack Robinson, see what has happened to them. You know, it's terrible. It's bad. It's very bad for a nation where there is no truth, justification on why things are the way they are. Then there is problem. You see, so my lovely people, if, if there is any time, you every single person. Okay, we need to stand up together. It is now more than ever before. It is now more than ever before. Remember that you have a voice. And so we must all continually speak together, end every abnormality, ensure that the truth message, the true message, you know, is shared. And um, we do not, you know, we do not subscribe to hypocritical arrangement and dealings in order to bring us to where we need to be. Every one of us have a part to contribute in what is currently going on now. Every one of us, no one is an exception. Every one of us must contribute to bring this nation out of the hands of those who have held them, held the country, held her in her clutches, saying that the country belongs to them. And so they, 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 they have hashed out successful plan to see that they are the ones who take the lead. It's shameful, it's sad, but that's what we are experiencing today. And if we must change the course of what is going on, the narrative really have to change, you see. So please, my lovely people, if there's any time where every one of us needs to take, you know, take the bull by the horn, it is now more than ever before. Yes, it is now more than ever before. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can always get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. And so we must speak out and end every abnormality. We must not allow infiltration of evil and accept it as normal. It is wrong. What is wrong is wrong. There's no other name for it. God bless. Bye for now.